Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Python Lake Solution Tutorial Number Thirty Nine Combination Sum. So, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to visit nannyblog.com and then go to projects here, and that's lead code. So, you come to this page, you can find all the GitHub code link and also the YouTube link, and also you can vote for the question. So, let's talk about to this question. Um, so, for this question, it actually asks um, to find the combination of the items uh, in in candidates that equals uh, their sum equals to the target. So, for example, here um, seven equals to seven, and two plus two plus three equals to seven. However, it also have uh, some conditions. Uh, for example, it cannot have duplicated uh, uh, solution. That is, if you have two, two, three, then you cannot have two, three, two uh, in your solution. On the other hand, the target here is as a positive uh, integer, and um, I think there is an implicit um, condition for this question. That is, all the items, uh, all its candidates, uh, are actually uh, all positive integers as well. Since, for example, you have one in your candidates and uh, you have minus one in your candidates, then minus one plus one equals to zero. Then you can have as many as um, the minus one one combination. In your solution set as you wish, so that absolutely makes no sense for this question. Um, on the other hand, I did see a lot of um, solutions for this question, but I have to say that is um, not efficient. So what I'm going to talk about in this tutorial is I'm going to talk about um, the most efficient way to solve this question. So let's have a look to the algorithm. So I have copied the list here. There is two, three, six, and seven, and um, our target is, is seven. So here uh, we we have an iteration, and uh, we will have the break. Um, we have a, have a proper position to break um, our iteration and also the loop. So first we start from two, and uh, here is our candidates. Uh, that is our candidates is this one, this list, and um, every time we have the iteration uh, for a proper position. That our candidates actually on uh, the value in this candidates list that is greater or equal uh, to the value. So here, well, what does this mean? Is here um, this point is two. So our candidates is greater or equal to two. That is two, three, six, seven. That is all our candidates uh, in this list. So first of all, um, we go to two. Here our target is seven, and every time we um, we go jumps to another. Um, value, then we just delete to the value of, of our previous previous value. So that is five, and um, two. Here's three. That is two, and this is one. So here is the case. If our item that is larger um, than our target value, then here we just not only break the loop, but also uh, we don't need to try other stuff as well, uh, like 3 or something, since all of those values after 2 is absolutely greater than our target value. So here uh, we don't need to try those things anymore. Um, so what we're going to do next is instead of jumps to here, we jumps to here. And here we try other stuff. That is, in this case, that, that is 3. And um, since 3 matches um, the target here, so we just return to this list. That is two. Here is two. Here is two, and here is three. And once we have this, we break this whole loop. We break it. We don't need to try four or stuff any stuff anymore. So um, let me change the color. So we just break from here and um, jumps. Since right now we are at three points, then we just jump back to the second position and to the first position and uh, we change to 3 and here 7 minus 2 is still 5 uh, 3 is more than 5 um, then since here is order 3 and we have the candidates with a value greater or equal than 3 that, that is 3, 6 and 7 so we cannot use 2 anymore uh, what, this is just to avoid uh, the repetition so here is 3, and that is 2. 3 is already larger than 2, so we don't need to try 4, 5 stuff. Um, next, 
So that is, um, so we just jump, jump back two times. And uh, we have other, um, like for example, uh, six, six already larger than five. So we just stop the iteration here and we just goes back. And uh, since our previous one is two and uh, we just use three, so on and so forth. So this, this should be the most efficient way so let's take a look on um, how to write the code. Actually, the code is much simpler than the explanation, I think. Um, before we talk about uh, the code, I really want to share with you a thing. That is um, the difference between pass by reference and pass by value. So in Python, the class, um, the class is actually passed by reference. So here I have a very brief um, code here. That is first, uh, we define a self value that is a empty list. So um, in this Lee um, function, self function, it actually um, has a temp. Then for three times, uh, we append this temp to our, uh, our self value. And um, every time we delete the last digit for, um, so that is first we did it for, uh, second loop we did three, third loop we did two, and uh, we just print out the value, self value. So let's see what happens. So first it appends everything here. Um, that is uh, one, two, three, and four. So after we first append it and uh, we delete the last digit, that is, uh, sorry, the last item, then the temp is one, two, and three at that time. And when we print that out, it turns out to be one, two, and three. For a second loop, we append um, our one, two, and three to our uh, this list. Then we delete the last digit, that is three at a time. So in this case, the time is one and two. So um, we print it out. It does have two items, but both of them are actually one and two. What I want to tell in this case is every time if we append uh, the temp here uh, and uh, if we change the temp value later on then it will actually change the temp here since it is passed by reference it's not passed by value so if it, it is passed by reference case then this value will be changed accordingly to our temp later so what if we want to pass by value well that is pretty pretty simple you just put a copy here. So yeah, this is exactly what we want. So first is one, two, three, and four. Um, second, after we delete the last digit, then it's one, two, three, and um, delete the three, then that is one and two. So later we will use um, the copy absolutely in our um, code. So let's take a look to the code. So I've copied um, this class here and also um, our testing tools here. So first of all, um, we have a self result that is an empty list. So later we'll just return this result. And uh, what I want to do is let's sort this candidate um, just in case that it's not sorted. Um, next, we will return a uh, function. Later I will just show it. So let's say um, find um, find combinator of course there's a parameters here so um, first of all I will append a empty temp list um, and also a candidates and also a target um, last but not least we just return it return um, self result so next we just define a find oh. And then we have our temp list, our candidates, and our target. So, for item and candidates, if item is greater um, than target, we just break the for loop. So um, since the item starts from the candidates, that is the first digit, 
uh, sorry, the first um, item. And um, since Canada has already been sorted, so if this item already uh, that is larger than a target, for example, that is two in our case, then we don't need to try um, three, four stuff since that all those uh, the latter uh, item in Canvas is absolutely greater than target. And uh, so first of all, we are going to append our item in our template. So template is uh, all the recording one. So for, uh, if you remember that is two, 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 for example, that goes down all the way, then the temp is two, two, two uh, in that list. So if item equals to target, and that is our um, case. So first of all, um, self result append, um, that is our temp here. So just now I talked about um, the pass by reference, pass by value. Here we have to pass by value. Um, that is copy. And um, we also need to go back to one level. Uh, so we just have a temp pop. Actually what does pop mean is actually a pop. Um, just pop the last digit and also delete that and also return the value. And uh, here we also have a break. else um, we just return to this function that is do our iteration um, we have our temp sorry so we have our temp um, and there's our candidates but before uh, you remember every time we will return to the candidates that um, every item is greater or equal to this current item so we can have an index actually that is our candidates um, dot index, and uh, that is our item. So we have this index that is on which item we are dealing with, um, and we just return that um, the index the the value the, the item that is greater than index, and also our target. But our target here uh, have to minus item. So, and also we need to pop out. So after every iteration, so after each loop, uh, actually we need to pop that, um, you know, value in order to go back. So I think that is it. Let's take a look. Yes, that is perfect. And how about we change um, another one? So here uh, I've changed back to 235 and also the target as 8. Okay, that's also perfect. So I also want to have a look on um, uh, the temp dots just to check whether this, uh, whether it is the most efficient way or not. I think I can just ignore this part. So you see, first is 2, then double 2, triple 2, fourth 2. Uh, that is eight in our case and just um, break this loop uh, go two times back uh, this is two and uh, that is three three um, that since our target here is four and uh, that is eight minus two minus two and uh, that's four here um, so we just break this loop again and uh, we change to three so on and so forth so I have to say this is the most efficient way instead of trying all the possible ways out so hope you enjoy this video I think that is the end for um, this kind of tutorial. All these kind of um, questions. That is um, three sum, four sum, and this also this kind of all kind of sums. So I do wish you learn something from this kind of sorting uh, method. Uh, there is also a lot of questions that, that is related to this kind of finding um, the sorted thing. For example, um, the, uh, there is also a word ladder. So um, if you like these questions, you just leave, um, put the comments here, um, I'm sorry, vote for questions here. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a see you in next tutorial.